Here's a couple of correctly UV unwrapped objects. And then here's a few examples of some horribly unwrapped objects. And today we're going to learn how to correctly UV unwrap objects in Blender so that we can turn this atrocity on the left side into this beautifully mapped object on the right. Now, if you're a complete beginner to UV unwrapping, then let me really quickly demonstrate to you exactly what UV unwrapping is and what it does. Now, if you Google UV unwrapping, it's probably going to tell you something along the lines of projecting a 2D image onto the surface of a 3D model. Well, let's look at a really simple example like this cube right here. Now, this cube has a nice checker texture wrapped around it, and it seems to be pretty perfectly placed on the cube. There's no stretching, there's no bending, there's no distortion. It seems to be uh, placed onto the 3D object the way that you would want it to be placed on the object. Well, the simple answer that you might imagine uh, would be something like, well, we can just take a uh, 2D uh, square image like this checker texture right here and just place it on every single face of the cube. Well, that seems to be uh, true for this example here, but that's only because every single face of the cube is exactly the same and it shows exactly the same texture. But if it was something more complicated like a cylinder, that wouldn't really work too well. I'll show you in a second why. So what we really need to do here is we need to take this object and we need to unwrap it so that it turns into a 2D uh, object. And that way we can place it onto an image and then based on which part of the image that particular face is covering, that part of the image is going to be displayed on the object. Now the reason we can't just take the image and place it onto every single face of the object is because then Blender would have to stretch out the image so that it would fit into every single face and that would look very odd. Now the correct way to UV unwrap a cylinder would be to cut out the faces from the side and separate them from the circular faces in the top and the bottom. And then we can place those faces onto an image and then Blender's going to know how to display the image on the cylinder. So the name of the game is to figure out a way how to cut the object so that we can perfectly unwrap it onto a 2D image. Now let's jump into Blender and let's try to UV unwrap the sniper scope right here. And before we do any UV unwrapping, we're going to first put a texture on the surface of this model so we can see if we're UV unwrapping it correctly or not. And let's go over to the shading tab. Let's create a new material for this object. And then we're going to add in an image texture node. And then in that image texture node, we're going to create a new image. We're going to name that grid and we're going to set the generated type to UV grid. OK, and then we're going to create that image and we're going to plug it into the principal BSDF node. And once we do that, you can immediately see that the image appears on the surface of the model, except well, it looks completely ridiculous. It pretty much looks like the bad example that I gave you at the beginning of this video. So now we're going to start cutting up this model and we're going to try to tell Blender how to correctly display uh, the image on the model. And let's start doing that uh, part by part. First, we're going to do the main part or the biggest part of the sniper scope, which is this uh, kind of weird cylinder looking thing in the middle of the scope. So we're going to select that entire loose part and we're going to move it up a little bit just so we can see it a little bit better. And then we're going to focus on that shape. And you can see that this kind of looks like a cylinder, except the only difference is that, well, it's not the same width uh, along its entire length. This part is a lot more narrow than this part. And there's something going on here in the front. There's a little bit of extrusion. It gets a little bit narrower then it goes inwards and then it has this lens here in the middle. So we can't think of it exactly the same way we think about a cylinder, but we can think about it uh, in a very similar way. So essentially what happens is, well, we don't have a face here in the end, but if we did have a face, we would uh, cut this part out and then we would place that separately. And then we would also do the same thing here. Now here, it's not a perfectly flat circular face, but it's still pretty close. And it's not a very wide face. So if we just cut this part out and we unwrap it, it's not going to look too bad because there's not going to be too much stretching. Let me show you exactly what that's going to look like. So we're going to select this entire edge loop over here and we're going to press U and then we're going to mark a seam right there. And then if we select this entire model and we press U and we press unwrap, you can see that immediately this part that we cut out, it already it looks a little bit better over here because we just kind of separated that. Now that has its own little section on the UV map and we can see the UV map uh, over here in the UV editing tab. As you can see, everything here is completely atrocious. I don't even know what's going on there. But this part in the front, it doesn't look too bad. It looks kind of like it does uh, over here if we look at it from the front, except we can see every face and every face has a part of the image assigned to it. And we can very clearly see that uh, this part is uh, unwrapped correctly. So now we're going to move down to the second part over here, which is going to be the base of the sniper scope. And this is pretty much uh, the side faces of the cylinder. So we just may have to make a cut right here, right here on the bottom on all these edges. Then we're going to mark a seam right there as well. And when we UV unwrap that once again, you can see that the texture is pretty nicely displayed on that sniper scope. And that's exactly what we want to have right there. So this shape is ready to go. Now let's move on to a different shape like this little cube over here. Now usually when you have a cube, and you want to uh, texture it, you don't even have to do any UV unwrapping because by default, uh, 
it's already going to be UV unwrapped correctly. As you can see right here, the texture is displayed on this little shape right here, which is pretty much like a cube with slightly rounder edges. Uh, the texture looks pretty decent on that. Now, yeah, we have some uh, lines here and we can see some seams, but that's all right because if we put something like a metal texture on there, we wouldn't really see any of those uh, of those cuts and there wouldn't really be a noticeable problem. So for the most part, this texture looks pretty good and we're just gonna leave it like that. Now let's take a look at a few other of these, uh, a few of these other shapes right here, like this uh, little cylinder. As you can see, it's not terrible, but it could be much better. And this part here is a separate part. And when we unwrap that, this is already cut since uh, it has no face at the bottom. That's pretty much like it's already cut. And then um, when that's UV unwrapped, it pretty much behaves the same way that uh, this lens here at the end behaved. And it's pretty much uh, shaped correctly. It's pretty much textured correctly. So we're just going to leave that alone. And then we're going to move down here to the second part below. And uh, we can think of this once again as a cylinder, of course. And since this part is wider, we can think of this again as the lens at the end of the top part that we just unwrapped. So we're going to separate uh, this part by marking a seam right there. And we're going to mark an edge right here like we did on the side uh, or along the length of that sniper scope up there. So if you unwrap that again, you can see that it pretty much uh, looks like a nice texture on there. And then we're going to do pretty much the same thing on all these other little knobs. So we're going to separate the part which is a little bit wider. We're going to mark a seam there and then we're just going to cut. We're going to make a seam uh, along the length of the cylinder right there. And we're going to do the same thing over here on the other side. We're going to mark a seam there and then we're going to unwrap that to see what happens. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Now we can go back here and this is once again the same thing. It's just that we can just think of it as a cylinder where we're going to separate uh, this part here at the end. Let's say we're going to separate it over here. We're going to mark a seam over there and then we're going to take a couple of edges over here. Let's use from vertices and we're going to select those and then we're going to mark a seam on them. And maybe it's better to do it at the bottom because then we're not going to see the seam uh, as clearly as we would if it's on top of the object. So we have to make sure to get all the edges on the side here. We're going to select every single vertex like this. And then we can press U to mark a seam. And we have to make sure we don't have a face here at the end, which we don't, so we're fine. And then uh, once again, we're going to UV unwrap that. And as you can see, it turns into a very nicely mapped object. Now the base of the sniper scope, which I separated right here because uh, I have the finished parts over here, which are ready to go. And I have this part over here, which we still need to unwrap. We can think of this in some ways, much like we thought about the cube. So we have to figure out the way to separate the faces here to separate the sides so that we display this texture here correctly. As you can see right now, if we deselect everything and we just select this part, right now it's a complete mess uh, on the UV map. So we're going to start separating some of the faces here and try to UV unwrap that correctly. Now, once again, there's something going on here. So we're going to immediately separate this part from the rest because it's like a hole and we're going to want to unwrap that separately. Okay. So we're going to select this edge loop here in the front and we're going to select that edge loop in the back. And then we're going to select some of the edges here at the bottom. Okay. Maybe we can select this entire edge loop over here and we're going to do the same thing over here. Okay. So we're going to connect that right here. And then once we UV unwrap that, you can see that we can kind of just bend this, uh, this shape into place and turn it into a 2D object. So let's mark a seam right there. And once we unwrap that, you're going to notice that the texture seems to be displayed pretty well on this part. So that means we're, we're successful there. And we still need to do some work on the other part. Now over here, we can also treat this part, this section over here on top as a dent. So we can just uh, mark the seams and separate that part because we can just, you can imagine if we just bend this face at the side there, this is going to be a perfectly flat shape and it's going to be unwrapped really well. So we're going to unwrap one more time to update and you can see that that works just as we expected. Now from the side, we see we can see that we can also easily separate or flatten out this shape. We just have to separate it from the rest. So we have some bevels over here, but we're going to mark this edge on the side of the bevel over here. And then we're going to mark this edge on the side over here. Now we have to keep in mind that there's still something going on here at the bottom. So we're going to want to select some uh, edges here at the bottom. But we're going to deselect this one because we can also just bend this into place and it's going to blend right together with this surface over here. So we're going to just mark these edges at the bottom here and we're going to just mark these edges on the other side over here. OK, we mark those edges and we're going to deselect the ones here in the middle. OK, we just want the ones on the side. We're going to mark a seam right there and we're going to UV unwrap that and see how that works. And as you can see, it works really well. So we're just going to go over here to the back and we're going to do the same thing in the back. We're going to mark these two edge loops on the sides. And we're going to mark a few more edges here on the corners at the bottom. We want to make sure not to mark any of the edges that go around this face, even though it wouldn't be too much of a problem if we did that. But then we're going to mark a couple of these uh, 
uh, it is right here mark a seam there and once again we can just unwrap that and as you can see it looks a lot nicer now now there's a little bit of distortion going on and there's a little bit of bending which is not ideal but it's really not that much of a problem because it's it's really uh, for the most part the texture is pretty nicely visible on most of the model and you can see it's not immediately obvious that it's not perfectly uv unwrapped and as far as the screws go it's a very simple shape which blender just stretches out we just have to delete this face in the back and then once we unwrap that, Blender pretty much displays uh, the, the texture on there because it doesn't have to stretch the object too much uh, to place the texture onto it. So all we want to do is uh, delete the faces in the back. And that's one of the other things that you usually want to do if you're trying to UV unwrap something is that you want to delete the faces which are in the back, which are clipping through something which are not visible. Because if you unwrap those faces, they're only going to take up extra space on your texture and that's going to make the resolution much lower or a little bit lower for the rest of the model. So since this part is not visible at all, we're just gonna delete that face and we don't want that on our UV map. As you can see now, we can just unwrap everything and the texture is placed on there pretty easily. Let's move everything back down into place. All these other shapes are still pretty simple. They're mostly just cubes and cylinders. And now we have a very nicely UV unwrapped sniper scope. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.